<laughs> Lady Days Off by Connect TV. We're backstage here at Boxer in Liverpool. I'm delighted to be joined by my good friend, my countryman, <laughs> Kevin Aguiarco. Hello. Hi, Matt. Oh, okay. Hello. 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 I, was <laughs> Hello. Getting, I was interrupted there by, by Matthew walking past. Um, Don't make me put on you under pressure. Just ignore me. Angie McCart, no chance. Um, good to see you here. I was saying, literally, I was on my way in and I looked at my Instagram and there you were at Celtic at the match and here you are tonight. Yeah, do you know, I've had a manic day um, up supporting Celtic in the in the Rangers game today um, and then straight in the train back back here to support Liam. Um, so it's been a bit mad for me, a bit all over the place. But um, yeah, it's great to be back in uh, Liverpool. Obviously, I, I started camp last week, so um, yeah. So obviously, let's talk about Liverpool and being in, in your new camp. <laughs> They're all wanting to say hello to you. Um, but obviously, that was... Uh, I would say big news, you know, not like it was like, you know, people, but it, your decision, people were like, okay, right, what was the decision? Because we didn't actually speak about it. And obviously, you, you put out a lovely post thanking all the lads in your former gym down in London in Ibox. Um, but what, for you, what was the reason behind the move to Liverpool? I wasn't happy. First and foremost, I wasn't happy. Um, Al and Ed are great coaches, Paul and Taylor, great coaches. I wasn't happy. I just felt like I, I'd stopped learning, kind of. Um, and I've, I just felt like I needed to explore a different adventure and, and try a different coach. Um, you see a lot of a lot of um, fighters that get beat and then move gyms. For me, it's, I think it shows great character for, for myself that I, I'm, I'm someone that wants to learn. I'm chasing them 1%, you know what I mean? And I won't settle for average, do you know what I'm saying? So I just felt like I needed a change. I wasn't happy in London, I wasn't happy in the gym. And we left on good terms. and. Um, I'll always support the boys in the gym and, and um, the coaches and stuff and um, yeah so Liverpool was, I come down and try things out in Liverpool and it's my new home now. Amazing, I mean obviously like when you do change gyms and that you're obviously um, making the choice for yourself and the right choice for your careers but because you have a bit of a profile now and people follow you was there a little apprehension of putting it out that people might talk or do you even worry about stuff like that? Yeah, like you get people talking, and then before I I wanted to announce it, people were getting word of it and stuff, and it was just I wanted to because I wanted just to keep things respectful to the gym. Do you know what I mean? That's why I put the post out first. I didn't make a decision on where I was going. I didn't make a I didn't go and contact any other coaches. I wanted to get that out of the way first. I went and sat down with the coaches at Ibox, told them how I felt. Then I put a post out after my holiday, and then I come up to Liverpool and and. Um, Thankfully, this was the place for me, or I would have explored somewhere else. But um, yeah, it's one of them ones where everyone's talking, and I just kind of stay away from all that. Do you know what I mean? I focus on the box and let my, my team deal with all stuff like that. And it's kind of part of you know the career now. It's like one of those things where you kind of have to get used to it. Like people will talk, That's they'll it. talk shit, they'll be the Twitter thing. It's just it's inevitable. And do you know what? Like I'm not in boxing to be famous or be a celebrity. I'm in it, in it to be the first Black Irish World Champion and make a few quid. Um, and that's just the side that comes with it, the fame and people talking and social media and people slagging you off and you've got to deal with all that, do you know what I mean? But yeah. like I say, it's just a part of the game that we're in, do you know what I'm saying? You do a good job at it though. I do all right, I'm still learning, <laughs> I'm still learning. Um, but you know, I mean that because I feel like I can say that to you because like I've literally known you so long and I've interviewed you for so many years, but you've literally taken to it like a duck to water. Like, you know, you've got a great personality, you're great with fans, I just helped you climb a, a fence there to get some kids a picture you know um, so you're taking it in your stride and, and it kind of it suits you right? Yeah listen it's everything I've dreamt of do you know what I mean in terms of when I was a kid I wanted to be famous right now I know because I've got a small bit of fame yeah. and it is a lot do you know what I mean it's a lot to, it's a lot to deal with when you're trying to focus on fighting and stuff but listen I'm, I'm doing alright at it um, I'm still learning but I'm just focused on fighting and winning titles and beating people up. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, back on to the fighting. Do we know? Do we have a date? Don't have a date. End of October, I've been told. Um, so I'm just working towards that. And I'll be ready for whenever it's, it's confirmed. Um, sat on collar. Um, yeah, so hopefully end of October, hopefully I'll have a, a, a date next week uh, in terms of announcing it. Um, but yeah, my team's working on something at the moment. <laughs> STN? STM Paul, Paul ready. ready? Hello. Paul ready. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, they're, they're working on something and um, on a big end of the year, Belfast next year has to happen. It has to happen. I, I'm going to be pushing Eddie. It has to happen. I, I don't care. Um, 100% has to happen. 1 million percent. Do you know now that I mean? Gary Cawley has signed as well, Gary come Cole. on. 
Gary Colley, me, you've got Tommy McCarthy if he's still fighting. Yeah. Um, do you know what I'm saying? Katie Taylor? Yes. Do you know, like, you've got three, four Irish fighters there that will sell out any venue in, in Belfast. Croke Park would have been perfect for Katie this year. Doesn't matter, she could fight Tom Dick and Harry from down the, the street. It's going to sell out, do you know what I'm saying? So, Eddie Hearn, get Belfast. It's got to happen. It happen. really does. We'll put the pressure on, right? We'll put the pressure Tag on. team in that pressure. Yeah. Uh, but it's before I go. Let's talk about, obviously, you know, the whole, you've been at the Celtic match today. Because obviously with Jamie from Matchroom, I love your little bromance there, but I don't say it myself. But, you know, like, how important is the sort of, I won't say the football following, but we're starting to see it now that football fans are starting to cross over and really get behind local fighters. Yeah. So it's a fantastic thing. I mean, imagine if, like, Celtic fans get behind Kevin Agarco, right? No, just Celtic fans are unbelievable. Um, I think I got like three, four hundred fo followers a day on Twitter, just at, let alone for going to the game. But I've always had a good support from Glasgow and um, from Scotland. I've got friends that live there, and they always support me coming and watch my fights, and they've done done so from the from the amateurs. So um, some of the Celtic fans also support me, and to, to have them support me, it's unbelievable. Being there today at Parkhead, it was it was an unbelievable atmosphere. And, if I can uh, steal some of their fans and make them, make them a, a fan of Black Thunder, it'd be it'd be unbelievable. It's, it's different at a Celtics match. Oh, it's different, different gravy. It's I get goosebumps now just talking about it. Like being there today, and it was my first um, derby game, so I called it old firm, and I got in trouble for that earlier on, so I had to call it a derby there. But it was unbelievable. Um, and yeah, if, if any of those Celtic fans can come support me, it means so much. And then they can follow Fight Connect TV and we're all in it together. Yeah, we're all in it together. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. but listen, I'll let you go. So good to see you. Good to see you as always. Always, always, always. We've had a countryman, Kevin Aguiarco, for Fight Connect TV.